Howdy Comba Crew. I'm here with Kelly again. Uh, I'm currently in Germany and if I look a little bit rough it's because I arrived in Germany about just over a week ago uh, and I was only planning to come for three days but um, due to catching Covid between arriving and leaving I couldn't leave. I didn't have a razor so I'm looking a little bit rough um, but I wanted to show you what I've been up to. So I'm in Germany with Kelly and despite being locked in and not really having any particularly useful tools, uh, I thought I'd be, what can I tinker with? And while well, the plastic is all set in stone and the hinges are set in stone, like those are coming, they're coming, they're gonna be great. The devil makes work for idle hands and we've been busy tinkering with what we can touch inside and that's basically the fan and the handle. So we've made some changes to the handle, which I'll tell you about in a later video, but right now I wanted to talk about the fan. Now the fan was gonna go in the inside. Um, funny story, if it looks really messy, he is. Um, we boxed him all up, ready to fly into Germany, so to, to bring him over here with us. And then we turned him upside down to taper on the bottom, and then I realised I'd left him full of cocoa core, so it all went everywhere. Don't invert Cody when he's full of cocoa core, it doesn't go down well. Uh, but we, anyway, we cleaned him up as best we could, and normally you'd have a filter here, and I'll tell you more about the filter later. But when we fitted the first type of fan, it was one of those standard, what they call axial fans, that it blows in the direction. So you think on your desk, it looks at you and it blows air in your face. That's an axial fan. And we were planning to have one of them blow air up through the filter. But because you have to screw it down, it makes a racket. It was so loud, it was not on. So we said, okay, right, let's use one of these. This is a radial fan and it blows through a tiny little slot just there. So air comes in the top, comes out the side, we diverted it into the filter and away we went. That was great and it worked perfectly well, but it was just a little bit too loud. These things are quite fiddly to attach and with it being horizontal as well, any debris, aka poop, would fall on the fan, clog it and it'd just be a bit messy. So we went a little bit overboard and we've beefed it up. Now this is again a bit of a prototype, so forgive me, but this is another radial fan. Uh, it's a 50 mil fan. And here we've attached it to a bracket to mount it vertically, bent the bracket over to protect it from any stray debris. And we've mounted it on these little rubber bungs to really try and isolate the, the, the vibration. And these things are never made perfectly, so they do shake a little bit, if you want to, for lack of a better term. Um, we've put a little duct to connect it to the filter, and it's working really well. Uh, I'm now striving as much as I can to keep the the noise as low as possible and see how we can really isolate it. But it works fine. I'm just going to try and make it as quiet as possible. Um, and I've been measuring on my phone because I have no other tools, uh, the decibels and how noisy it is. And it seems to be really, really good. Um, now in a really great bit of news, I had a PCR test yesterday and it's Christmas Eve today. I can fly home tomorrow. So <laughs> I'm about to go and pack Cody up. I wanted to make a quick video to show you what I've been up to while I'm in Germany. And we'll see you all soon. Have a great holidays, everybody. Take it easy.